guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenio ZSL Podcast. Man, we got some fire today. We're getting back into these discussions. I did it with one of my students, as a matter of fact. And again, we're still trying to figure out her note taken. But the problem is, it's her action, like, behind the note taken and needing to get the work done. Like, practicing the note taken herself. So, it's very easy in this podcast for her to navigate and pick the right answers. But at the same time, it's with my notes. So we're only going to know and be able to measure her once we figure out exactly, okay, where it her note taken is. But nonetheless, man, this is another fantastic discussion. I break everything down very, very methodically. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, hi, I'd like to drop off my graduation form. I understand you need this in order to process my diploma. Okay, I'll take that. Um, before you leave, let me check our computer. Uh, looks like you're okay for graduation. And, hmm, actually I'm getting a warning flag on your academic record here. Really? Yeah, let's see what's what. Uh, okay, are you familiar with our graduation requirements? Uh, I think so. Well, then you know you need 48 credits in your major field to graduate and at least 24 credits at the intermediate level or higher. Also, after your second year, you have to meet with your department chair to outline a plan for the rest of your time here. In the past, we also issued letters before a student's final year began to let them know what they needed to take in their final year to be okay, but we don't do that anymore. I definitely met with my chairperson two years ago. Uh, he told me that I needed eight more courses at the intermediate level or higher in the last two years to be okay. Uh, so, I'm not sure what the problem is. I, I made sure I got those credits. Unfortunately, the computer's usually pretty reliable. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. It could be that I've taken two basic courses, but coupled both of them with uh, field experiences. Mm, what do you mean? Well... I could only take intro courses because there were no intermediate level courses available for those particular topics. My chairperson told me that if I did independent field research in addition to the assigned work in each course, uh, they would count as intermediate level courses. Uh, my classmates, um, well some of my classmates did this for an easy way to meet their intermediate course requirement. Uh, but I did it to get the kind of depth in those topics I was going for. As it turned out, I really enjoyed the field work was a nice supplement to just sitting and listening to lectures. I'm sure that's true, but the computer's still showing them as basic level courses, despite the field work. Uh, I'm not sure what to do then. I, I mean, should I cancel my graduation party? No, no reason to get worried like that. Just contact your chairperson immediately, okay? Uh, tell him to call me as soon as possible so that we can verify your field work arrangement and certify those credits right away. It's not like there's an actual deadline today or anything, but if more than a few weeks go by, we might have a real problem that would be very difficult to fix in time for you to graduate. In fact, there probably would be nothing we could do. I'll get on that. There it is. Okay, so here we go. That wasn't too bad. Why does the man go to see the registrar? We already know the just purpose question now, okay, Marley? This just purpose question yeah. is right here. He dropped off a form to process his diploma. So what's the best answer? To find out why he's not on the list of graduating students? He didn't even know. To explain why he has not fulfilled graduation requirements? What? To find out the exact requirements for graduation? What the fuck? Or to submit a document required for graduation? Okay. Maybe. Good. A, B, C. Not too B. bad. So we know we know that the conversations should not be a problem for you, right? Conversations should not be a problem for you because it's all we already know. Okay, Arsenio told me that the gist purpose question is by far the most important one for the question number one. Got it. And then this one was very, very easy to follow because the employee student, employee student, this was all based on him not having credits or not verifying the field study with the basic course blah 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 blah. and this is why i didn't take down that many notes i just made sure that i broke everything down so let's continue all right let's see what we got here oh here we go bam let's go to the next one according to the registrar 
What step is currently taken to ensure that students fulfill their graduation requirements? Uh-huh. Check out the green. Meet with the department chair. <laughs> so, academic records are regularly checked by the registrar's office. As students meet with, with a department chair person to plan their coursework. Students receive letters listing the courses or warning letters are sent out to students. Uh-oh. What do you think? The I am between the number A and B. Okay. But, now, uh, yep, go ahead. Say, I don't know what is the department chair. That's okay. Okay. Um, I know I going more for the number B than the number A because register is different. And did I write that down? In the Student first three needs. lines, did I write down anything in regards to in regards to uh, the academic records needing to be checked by the registrar's office? Did I write that down? No. No. You you write department chair person. That's right, and I knew that that would be very important for some reason. I said, "Oh, meet department chair." Okay, let me write down D E P C H A I R. Boom. Uh huh. And because I wrote that down, it would have been very easy for me to select. Oh, shit. Why does the man mention his <laughs> classmates? Okay, I didn't even check. I'm sorry. I just pressed like B and I hurry up and went on to next. But the answer was meeting with the department chair. So mm -hmm. being able to eliminate C and D, very good for you. Now, the thing is, what you would have to do, you, you are either going to take notes or you're not going to take that many notes. Now, the biggest problem with this is because if you do take notes, you're going to be able to select B as an answer. But if you don't take notes and you're just like, oh, man, OK, meet department chair. And you told me right before that you were like, oh, I really don't know about department chair. If you didn't write down department chair, you probably would have been influenced to pick A instead. See what I mean? Yeah. These are the little yeah. issues. So you're going to have to figure out a way. To, to make up that balance between taking notes and not taking notes, okay? So let's get into the next one. Why does the man mention his classmates? To explain how he obtained information, to point out that many students like to do field research, to show that it is difficult to get intermediate level credits or to emphasize his motivation. Now, the problem is I didn't write down classmates. But I could see that right around here, I wrote down STU, STU, STU. A, I, I am go, I'm going for the B, C, for the number C. To show that it is difficult to get intermediate level credits. Okay. Now, based on what I have here, I mean, to be honest with you, A makes a little bit more sense. That's a sensible choice because it says to explain how he obtained information about field research. The field but research. research, field research in two of his courses, in two courses. Right. And see, if you see right here, I wrote down some notes. See, if I didn't write down anything in regards to classmates, at least I know that it says, I wrote down field experiences plus basic courses can make up for it. He had to have obtained that information from somewhere. So I'm going to assume that it could be A instead of B. C. 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 It says it's B. difficult to get intermediate level credits. It's a little weird, right? D. Yeah. D. So you think it's D? You think it's D? Yeah. Yeah. To emphasize his motivation. Okay, let's see. Whoa! Well, hello there. 
D. So you switched it up at the end. At B, I would have chosen the wrong answer based on what I had written down because I was trying to. What What you choose? I was thinking that it would be A. A. Yeah, I don't know why though. The thing is, based on thank you, based on based on. <laughs> don't look right. Maybe by love. Okay, sorry. My wife, she likes it. Every time she makes me a smoothie, she comes in and looks around and says, hey, pick that up. Pick it up. You know? <laughs> but she's my tea doc. Hello. Bye-bye. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> all right. So, but I got that answer wrong. <laughs> and it's because I drew conclusions based on the notes that I had taken down. And so you ended up switching from C to D. Why did you choose D? Because you you write feel experience that emphasis his motivation is mm. you know mm. feel experience he told about uh, the he he has motivation for yeah. do the courses and get the graduation right. Wow, that's perspective. You gave me a great amount of perspective right there because you saw something that I didn't see. Even though I took those notes, you saw something that I did not see, which is pretty amazing. So good job, good job. Okay. Harley, so you smart as hell. So you smart. Okay, all right, all right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Bam and next. Here we go. Why does the registrar tell the man to contact his chairperson immediately? Okay. So, a deadline has already passed. The man has limited time to resolve the problem. The man needs to find out if the chairperson will help him. Obviously, the chairperson has to help him no matter what. Issuing a new grade. Uh, it's not about a new grade. So, we're between A and B. What would you select? You're going to go with C? The man first need to find out if the chairperson will help him because he the chairperson need to look at uh, the, the requirements he needs. Let's see. Uh, because he told about he told about uh, in the records. No. No, look, 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 what? look, look. I got the answer right there. B. Oh, B. For the Hold on, your Wi-Fi. Probably your Wi-Fi is bad. It's very soon. Okay, I think you're good now. Okay. Okay, all right, I think you're good. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're good now. You're good yeah. now. So remember, she, okay. now remember, she emphasized that you're at the bottom. She said, if three weeks go by, it's going to be difficult to fix it. So that's why she said, hurry up and contact the chairperson immediately because he doesn't have enough time. He has limited time, not enough time, limited time. Okay. So there are synonyms. Okay. I like to call them cinephrases. Okay. Sometimes there are those too. So yeah. Ooh, hey, okay. All right. All right. Si se puede. Let's keep it going. Listen again to part of the conversation, then oh, answer the question. I'm not sure what the problem is. I, I made sure I got those credits. Unfortunately, the computer is usually pretty reliable. So I'm not sure what's going on here. What does the registrar imply when she says this? Here we go. Unfortunately, the computer is usually pretty reliable, so I'm not sure what's going on here. All right, so the computer is reliable, so she's not sure what's going on. So the if we look at this, see, she needs more information about the man's credits? Yes. It has nothing to do about computer errors. And because B she was talking, she was talking. He only have twelve credits, something like that. And for this reason, he need to 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 go with 
Excellent. She needs more information about the man's credits. Awesome. Not bad. All right. That's it. She needs more information. Hey, guys, that is the end of today's podcast. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning into it. Make sure you follow me on IG to make sure that you guys get all the awesome Black Friday sales and everything. If you guys have any questions, make sure to reach out to me and I'll be waiting for you over and out.